what's up okay um i'm back today and i'm gonna do a tj maxx haul i know like we already know that i hate hauls on like stupid shit we know this okay but to be honest like i have not been able to go to tj maxx in years to like and enjoy it and like actually okay because i lived in a fucking very tiny house where if i wanted to buy anything it had to be so actually thought out because it was basically like one, it's very, very small. Okay. So there was like nowhere to like put things to decorate. So now that I have a bigger house to decorate and put things in, by the way, I'm, I guess I am brushing my hair. I don't want to hear it. Like I am, we do that. Like I, it, it's better. Okay. So, um, anyway, I went to TJ Maxx. I hate Chotskis. I hate like knickknack shit everywhere. It makes me like grow up because like my parents like, like, like collectible knickknacks. They like, like, but they're like night. I don't know. I just don't like clutter stuff. Okay. I don't like you anyway. Okay. So I got stuff that I feel like is useful and stuff that I needed. Um, I'm going to go into that with you guys, show you what I got. And one of you guys were like, Oh my God, do a TJ Maxx haul. And I was like, Oh my God. Like I kind of want to, because I was really happy at TJ Maxx. Like I was like, Oh my God. Like, I don't know. It was just fun. I'm going to tell you guys like stuff I bought. And it's, I just had, a, like, I, I had fun. Okay. Um, and then I'm wearing my new obsession necklace and bracelet. And I also have um the this is the extra large version and um, this is my um amg you guys know that with the top handle if you guys have this size this is the chanel jumbo maxi pre bay chain just so you guys know this chain is exclusive to my line it's absolutely gorgeous super solid and i love it it's like a game changer you know that okay let me show you the extra the large version too because i love it so here is the large version super sparkly gorgeous and um this one is solid like it's solid, solid. And because this is so thick, this is semi, semi hollow. Okay. So, um, it's just a different, because if it was super, super solid, it'd be so heavy, you know what I mean? To wear on your neck. So this one is solid because it's thinner and this one is semi solid just so you guys know. All right. Um, love them obsession. And I, I don't usually wear like matchy matchy stuff. I usually like, but I feel like this is such like an, like a nineties model moment. Like, and it's like, so mega on the wrist, dead, dead over it. Let me show you the bracelet in the medium. Sorry, sorry, this is a large. So this is large and this is like extra large and I these are brand new to my line. So you have not, if you have the spun gold or if you have my other bracelets, these are bigger than those, okay? So this one is bigger than the other, than the spun gold. Um, and then this is even bigger, the extra large and the large. So you guys know, obsessed, love them. This is like my new vibe. I feel like I can just like put this on, dress it up or down. It's so sick. Okay, I love it. All right, and I'm wearing my I Heart Me ring with my initial on it. All handmade by me, okay? So, on to what I'm going to do. <sighs> Don't. What the fuck is that? All right, okay, okay, oh my God, okay. <sighs> do I get into some bones I have to pick? Okay, because I know this morning I was like, tweet, I got some bones to pick. I have some bones to pick. I have so many bones to pick. I'm not going to, not going to pick them all. I have a heart attack. Um... But I do have a bone to pick and I kind of like am just sick of it. I'm not I'm not doing it anymore. Actually, I never do it, but I actually haven't called it out. And I think it needs to be addressed because you need to stop. Like you, I, I've had enough. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. I've had enough. Okay. Um, let me read over my synopsis. You guys got to talk to you with my new phone case. I got, I have new things to show you too. Not just TJ Maxx. I got like the best vibe shit ever. I got stuff from like random like like um antique stuff like vintage stuff um also i'm like very like fluttery right now because i had a lot of drama this morning like the the disloyalty i can't stand it like i'm the most loyal person in the world like i don't cross people like that i really care about people i really i really care about um like honesty integrity like i would never cross someone it bothers the fuck out of me and i feel like karma is a fucking bitch so I'm kind of like jittery right now because I'm pissed, okay? But I'm not going to talk about it. I I might another, I don't, I just don't want to because it's too much for me. I will like have a heart attack. I, I'm shaking. Okay. Let me just read my notes. Okay. I have two things. I have two bones to pick. Okay. So I'm just going to pick the first one first, but I got to read my synopsis because I write things down for you guys, like in my notes, right? We do notes, like a note thing. And then I talk to you about them, but I just want to make sure. Um... Here it is, bitch. All right, don't. 
All right, I'm just gonna set up for you like this. I, okay. I would never in a million years, you are a fucking loser. You're a fucking loser. If you have to go on someone else's business who you have a similar business to and comment on their picture with your business page, you are a loser. You're, I know what you're doing, bitch. I know what you're doing and it will not be tolerated on my page. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example. Poor Hemplo, bitch. Okay, this is what I'm doing. Poor Hemplo. Okay. Um, okay, let's say I have a grocery store. I have a grocery store and it's like a mom and pop grocery store. I'm a small business, right? Okay, it's a small business grocery store. I ain't no fucking Ralph's, dude. I'm not talking about Ralph's, man. I'm talking about Alex's supermarket, okay? Alex's supermarket. And I just like have an Instagram page and I started Alex's supermarket from the ground up, okay? It's called it HRH Supermarket. We're calling it HRH Supermarket, okay? HR supermarket and it's cute and like you know I have like this produce that I get like whatever from like this whatever I have like cool shit in my supermarket okay I grow my own produce and like sell it or some shit. okay it's like cool it's like cool you know and I have like a good following I'm I've grown this thing by myself and people love my supermarket like people love my supermarket so there's another bitch in town in town who opens a supermarket fine there's competition fine okay there's another bitch who opens up a supermarket in town. They come onto my Instagram page and they write, love your produce. And their Instagram handle says, let's take it Bob. Bob's supermarket. Bob, do you really fucking think that I know you're coming onto my page to compliment my produce? Or are you coming onto my page so that other people will see Bob's supermarket and you'll try to take customers or try to get more followers. You will not do it on my page, bitch, try it. You'll be blocked. Okay, this is what I'm doing. I am sick of the jewelry companies who don't have a following, bitch. Fuck you, okay? I have grown my brand from the fucking ground up. I don't have, I've never had an investor. I've never had a cent given to me. I did all myself, self-funded, okay? Like it or not, bitch. That is what, do it yourself, you fucking leech. Do it yourself, get the fuck off of my page. Do it yourself, okay? Be yourself. You are not going to get a freebie handout from me, okay? You will not. I am so sick and tired of these bitches with new jewelry lines or jewelry lines who suck, okay? Because maybe they're like as old as my jewelry line, but you, you suck, okay? No one likes your shit. So you're going to come on my page and write, love the jewelry or pretty... Or, oh my God, so cool. Some, whatever you're gonna fucking write, fucking put a fucking poop emoji. I don't know what the fucking do. So that people will see your comment and be like, oh, Bob's supermarket. And like, go on it. No, you're not getting free advertisement. It's rude. Don't do it. I will, okay, so. <laughs> this is the thing. I don't wanna block people unnecessarily. It's just like, I become like the bad, the bad person, right? I become like, Everyone thinks I'm outrageous, right? Everyone thinks like that they can like try me because I'm so crazy or something. But I, it's not like that. Like I, this is like therapy for me. I feel like you, I, you guys like feel me. I, I'm talking to like all of you, even though I'm talking to no one right now. There's no one here. It's just I. It is what it is. Okay. I don't like to block people out of sight. So you know what? Like I've been just, I just delete the comment usually, so they get the clue. But I think I'm at the point where I'm just gonna fucking block you. Because I know what you're doing, you fucking leech, man. You leech. You're coming on someone's page who's built this from the ground fucking up. You're not going on Nordstrom's jewelry line page and, and writing, oh, nice jewelry. You're not doing that. You're doing it to me. And you will not do it. Don't come on my page. Don't look at my page. Don't write anything on my page. Don't. Don't, okay? You're fucking so embarrassing. Everyone knows what you're doing. Your jewelry sucks. No one likes you. Go away. Done. Okay. That is my first rant. I am. Don't fuck with me. I'm so sick of it, bitch. <sighs> okay. So that was that. I'm going to show you guys some stuff now. All right. <sighs> I'm mad. I'm mad as fuck. I wish I could tell you. I'm so fucking sick of this shit. I'm so sick of this shit, dude. I am so sick of people 
just acting like they can try me. I don't know what it is. Like my my head's hot. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Like it's not you guys don't even like you don't have it. I'm sick of it, dude. I wouldn't do that to someone else. I would never in a million years be so fucking embarrassing and brazen as to be like, oh, I have no followers. I'm gonna go on someone else's page as a as a, my own line and be like and write some fucking phony ass comment. Don't don't be pathetic. I can't. I could talk this for an hour. Don't. Okay. I'm just gonna show you guys some random thing. Okay. So this is my thing at TJ Maxx, and you're gonna like laugh at me, and this is like so not me. All right. So um, so this is me. I cannot when I'm at TJ Maxx, I see something cute, I pick it up. If I if I think about it for too long, I will put it down. Like I won't. Um, you know what I mean? I'll, I have a string here. It's really gross. Um, I will put it down. Like I, if I if I think about it too much, then I'll start to hate it. You know what I mean? So. I saw this and I hate Chotsky shit, but I think this is really, really cute on my pat on my either my patio or like my on my like patio downstairs in the center of you know my that round table I have outside. Indigestion. I'm sorry. I get like really I take a lot of air in and then I get like sick. Okay, so I like this. Um it's I don't like country vibe, but I feel like this is not very country. I feel like it's kind of cute. It's just like not obnoxious. I, I'm really weird about shapes. Like I'm really weird about shapes. Anyway, it's a little battery operated thing. I feel like it's very cute. I didn't get enough battery. I need a battery. It's $20. Um, and I just think it's kind of cute. Like it actually kind of looks, it looks expensive and it looks nice in the center of my um, patio outside in that, on that round table. It looks like, it looks very cute. And like when it's, warm enough to sit outside, I think that will be nice, okay? So I got that and I feel like everything that I'm gonna show you has been thought out. It, it's nothing I got is a mistake, okay? Because I, I, I don't do that, I don't like, you guys know, to, for me to bring something in my house, it has to like really work, okay? It has to really like pass the test, like pass the vibe check. It's been vibe checked, like it really has been vibe checked, okay? Um, I also, okay, like, I love a bargain. It's so sick. Like, I love a fucking bargain. Are you guys like me where you, like, ugh, I cannot wait to go to the sales section. Like, I, like, scour through. I'm, like, I'm, like, a fucking, like, I actually like, scour through, like, the sale. I'm, like, very weird like that. I love sale shit. I love, like, you guys know, like, the men's sale at, like, store. I love it. Like, I just love that kind of shit, okay? So, I saw this, and I think it's so fucking sick as... Like, do we not love this? This is so cute. It's a votive. It was $2.50 on sale. And I just really fucking love it. It's so fucking cute. And I put it, like, on my table, like, by my... It just looks like a vibe. Like, it looks expensive as fuck. Okay, so I love that. Um. Okay, then I got these. Um, I got two of these. I got this and I got... Um, I don't, I don't see one. Shut up. Okay. Um... It was $14.99, and so I got two of these to stack on each other for my makeup. Um, it's just, like, my life is so different now. I have, like, a real house. So, because, like, before, when I was sitting, when I was living in my other house, it was just so small. It was almost like living in an apartment. It was basically as small as an apartment, but a house. So, I, this is my first time living by myself, like, not by myself, but not with my parents. <laughs> like, I lived in a house with my parents, um, outside of my parents like in a house where I like, I like can actually decorate or, or per, like actually live it. It's weird. Okay. You know what I mean? Cause like if you guys have only lived in an apartment or you like live in an apartment, you know, it's different than having like different rooms and like actual space. So, um, like I'm also going to, you guys know, like I'm going to be redoing my bathroom. So I have like these plans in my head from like, like my Greek family in Greece and how I'm going to like redo the bathroom. Um, and I'm just getting, collecting things that I know will look pretty in there once it's done. Like, I wish I could show you guys the bathroom, but it's, like, disgusting. Okay, it's, like, disgusting brown tile and, like, puke vomit granite. Is that what it is? Like, it's just horrible. It looks like an orange, like, it looks like a calico cat. You know what I mean? Like, that color. Like a, like a, you know, like, some cats have, like, brown, white, and an orange color. It's like that. Like, that it looks like, like, a calico cat. Is this what it's called? Dude, I don't know. It's the ugliest shit ever. I'm like, I have a fireplace too. And the fireplace, it looks like El Torito. Like, it looks like a Spanish, like, it looks like a Mexican restaurant. Like, I, like, my bathroom looks like a Mexican restaurant's bathroom. You know, like, very, like, Hacienda. 
Like, as much as I fucking love Mexican food and, like, Mexican restaurants, I don't want that vibe in my fucking bathroom. So, um, that's just coming, and I can't wait, because I, like, I, like, legitimately, I'm going to tell you guys the whole story when I do my bathroom over and, like, the inspiration, and it's going to be, it's, like, it's fucking bomb, okay? Like, I'm going to fucking do it so fucking well. Like, you guys are going to fucking love it. I want everyone to come over, and we can just, like, sit in there and just, like, just, just fucking get, just yell as fuck and, like, just speak, okay? Like, it just, I feel like it would just be a moment. All right, um... Okay, so then what else did I get? Okay, I got this too. Oh my god, okay. I hate bones. I, mean, I hate dog bone stuff. Just because you have a dog doesn't mean you have to like put it, make it, give it like a dog bone motif things like bowls with a dog bone on it. Like, what do you, I, dog bone? Like it's stupid. I, I never understood getting like dog, dog bowls. If you have a small dog, if you have a big dog, fine. You have like big dog bowls, like real dog bowls. But if you have like a small Ming dog, like, Ming drinks out of, like, the, I have, like, these vintage milk glass cups with, like, and she drinks out of that. Okay, anyway, I saw these, and they are bones. I can't, but look how fucking gorgeous this is. It's all, actually, if you look close, it's all little diamonds. Like, actually diamonds shapes, crystals. Absolutely gorgeous. On sale for $5. I got two of them in case one of them gets dirty. It's, like, a mat for her dishes, but so pretty. Like, dead over it. You know, I hate bones. Like, I hate bones. I don't understand the bone motif. Like, I don't get it. But this was, like, so cute. I was like, oh, my God. It's, like, actually, it's, like, so sparkly. I'm like, whoa. Like, it's so sparkly. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch out of... I'm going to switch out of the TJ Maxx stuff for a second. And I'm going to show you some other things. Um, I might bring a chair up, too, because I got those chairs. And I'm going to show you guys my chairs. <laughs> So sick, like you check. Oh my god. All right, I got these some vintage stuff from like some like random people online. I am obsessed with these so much. Okay, these are vintage. I got two of them, and they came like really dirty, and they were like really expensive. I think that she shipped them in from like I don't know. I think it was like Texas or something, but like really inexpensive, loose sight. And you guys know how I feel about patterns I can't stand pattern you guys know I like lines right we like lines I saw you know I was like oh my god like lines it's so fucking gorgeous like dead okay so these are on my on in my bathroom now and I have like my skincare on one of them and I have like other stuff other and it's just so chic so vintage like I you guys know I hold out for stuff that really speaks to me you know what I mean I really do and that's another reason I don't like TJ Maxx too is because like it, everything in there is such it's just it's like shit junk Chotsky stuff and I, I don't really like I, I like junk I like junk junk stuff it's fun but like it has to be stuff that I really like like this is junkish this is the junkiest shit ever it's just literally it's junk okay but it's cute you know what I mean like it serves a purpose it's like some bitch would buy this if it didn't and just like put it somewhere if it didn't work and just, like I don't know this serves a purpose it's a light and it's cute for outside okay I just try to like teach you guys not to be like tacky. There's like so many tacky things out there that I can't stand. Okay, then I'm gonna talk about. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna talk about. Um, I'll talk about the sunglasses. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the color. For some reason, this color is all in my life right now. So I don't want to hear it. You guys, if you don't like these sunglasses, there's something wrong with you, and you don't get the vibe. You don't understand. So don't 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 embarrass yourself. I'm gonna put it on. You're gonna like, say something stupid. You're gonna make yourself look dumb. Okay. I'm just gonna warn you now, don't make yourself look dumb. I'm trying to save, I'm trying to help you out, okay? So I went to, um, you're dirty. I went to Bottega Veneta, cause I was like, kind of wanting the bag, but I was like, I wanted the little bag, like the tiny one, but it's so small, it's like so stupid. I wanted a green one. I was really liking green right now. Um, but it was really small and I really, I really hate that, like, checkered shit you know like that woven it's like so weird I hate the woven stuff so I was like oh what else am I gonna get the thing is like I waited okay so you couldn't go in unless there was like only two customers allowed at a time so fucking stupid but I really want to try on that bag and then I was like oh my god they have really weird sunglasses let me see this and I like try these on okay like if you don't understand this then there's something wrong with you so Aren't these like fucking sick? So for a second I was like, wait, 
don't lie to me. Tell me, are these goggles? Because I said it's like ski goggles. I like kind of need to know. And she's like, no, they're not goggles. So um, they also have them in white, which I was debating between the black. Oh, sorry, these are the white. And I love these. Nick was like, get the white. And I was like, no, like I shouldn't have even asked you. I was like, which I hate because I wasn't. These are like really weird. So if he was like, fuck. Well, he was like, fuck no, but I don't care. Um. So, and I also like that they're so big that they make your face look like even smaller. So I really like these. These are Balenciaga and they look, I think they were $400. Um, just because I know you guys are interested. Made in Japan and I think just really unique and really sick. So I really like these. And then I went to Ramoa because I would have wanted another case. I wanted, I was going to get another silver case and I saw this one. I was like, oh my God, I love it. So I got this too. It's a metal case. My silver one, you guys, um, around the edge or whatever, it started to peel. Like the, the, the plastic, you know, when you put like acetone on something and it starts to do that like shriveling peeling effect, it did that. So I'm not sure what I spilled on it, but I think I, I ruined it somehow. It's just kind of annoying me. And then the, it was all banged up, which is nice because like the point of a Ramoa suitcase is to have a banged up one. So it was nice, but that, that thing where the plastic started to, to get fucked up, I was like, it's kind of gross. So I just got another one. Um, and I just like the way they look. I am, and so, yeah. So I got that. Okay. And then I'll show you guys my chairs too. I think I might bring up a chair. It's kind of heavy, but I'm just so drawn to this color right now. Do you guys know chairs I'm talking about? If you haven't been blocked on Instagram, then you would know. Is it really dark in here? <sighs> Sorry. I had to like start filming late. Okay. Um, all right. I got these. Okay. I want to tell you guys another story too. Like, I know this is so lame. Like a pair of scissors. It's the KitchenAid scissors. I got them from the kitchen department. I have like punished myself. You guys, I don't, I have not bought anything from my kitchen or anything in eight years. Like I have not purchased like tools or anything just because like the kitchen was so small. It was really hard to cook in. It was just like, I don't know. I just never, I never went to TJ Maxx. I, I, I was weird. Like my life has been very not focused on like specifics I don't know what it is I haven't weird I, I'm very like in a different mode right now where I am actually like living a real life I feel like my life has become real I was living in like some kind of a weird limbo fantasy like not I don't know what it is okay I have kitchen shears now I'm gonna get like some you do you guys if you guys have been following me <laughs> Since the beginning, do you remember my wonton video when I made those like wontons in my Irvine apartment? Like, okay, I just moved out of my parents' house and I got like this little like junior one bedroom apartment in Irvine, which I loved. I was like so proud of it. It was so cute. I like got everything from like Ikea, the like, um, what's the Ikea area where it's like broken stuff? You know what I mean? They have like a section downstairs where things are like, broken. I like got cool shit from there and I made it. The apartment looks so sick. Like... I'm the best at that kind of stuff. I I can fucking, I can live high, I can live low. You know what I mean? I can do it. And um, anyway, so I, I remember that, those pink knives I was using when I was making those wontons. I still have those. Like I, I, and they're dull. Like I need to get new knives. I just have not had like, I've not thought about it. I haven't like had the will or like the need to buy new knives. And they're like these old crusty bad knives and I still use them. But I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm in like this, I'm just like not reborn at all. I still feel the same part. I just feel like different. I feel like I'm in a different, a different chapter, like not even because of the house. I, I don't know. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. What am I doing? Okay. So then, um, I'm just going to jump onto this. Okay. So I'm okay. Let me tell you guys a trick at, at TJ Maxx. So at TJ Maxx, I love international stuff. You guys know that. I love international foods and like international shit and like weird shit. So they have like, a, I love their food section there. I feel like they have really good weird stuff sometimes that's actually really good. And they have really good spices. Okay. So um, I bought Himalayan spice, Himalayan salt from them. If you guys want to buy pink Himalayan salt, whatever, with a grinder, go to TJ Maxx. It's the best. It's $2.99. They have all kinds of these Himalayan salts. And what I love about this Himalayan salt, my, I'm sorry, my hair's ugly. I'm sorry. I have to fix it. I can't stand it. Okay. What I love about this Himalayan salt, blinking, oh God, I like, seriously, stop. 
um, is that when you grind it, it comes out in like big pieces and small pieces. So when you're eating your food, you might get like a bigger salty and a small salt. It's really good, okay? Like I really love it. So I got another one of these because my other Himalayan salt that I got from TJ Maxx and I had actually, so I, it's not like I never went when I went like years ago or whatever. This thing will last you forever. Um, it's packed away somewhere because my kitchen's being done. So I got another one of these and then I got this too. This is pepper and salt together. Like that's so sick, right? Like peppercorns and salt together. Um, this is new for me. Okay. I'm sorry. Like stop. Okay. Um, then I also got this at one point in my life. Um, the red pepper flakes. This is paprika flakes though. Is that the same as red pepper? This looks like red peppers to me. I don't know if this is mismarked or something, but I had it and it's good, but mine like started, oh, mine was, mine was garlic and red pepper and it got like rotten or something. It started tasting like shit, like ruining my food. Okay, then I got this chili bomb and it's like all different kinds. Okay, let me tell you, ingredients. Sea salt, chili, red, red bell pepper, black pepper, garlic, mustard, cumin, green jalapeno, onion, thyme, oregano. Like, oh my God. I mean, this is amazing. I'm going to put this on my Caesar salad. It's going to be sick. Oh my God, there's eight calories in a tablespoon. Why? That's weird. Okay, that, and then I got this too. Roasted, red, roasted peppers, red and yellow. Um, I don't know why I was hungry. I, I think I'll eat them. Hopefully they're okay. All right, so um, the bag, so you guys know. Okay, then I got this and to be honest, I never used this growing up. I never used this, but I just remember it being so like 90s, so early 2000s. And it just totally smells like something I would have worn back then. And I really like it. Sunflowers, Elizabeth Arden. Um, and I feel like it's so something that like we all can relate to. And I just wanted to like, you guys know, I'm redoing the 90s, okay? I'm redoing that. Like I'm redoing it right now. Um, let me put my lipstick on. I love this color. Okay, I talked about this last time. If you don't know what this is, you know my last video I talked about it. I'm not telling you. You know come up. You didn't attend class and you don't get to know. Okay. Um, I have one more thing to talk about. So then um, I have other things too. <sighs> okay. I got this. Okay, then I went to um, CB2. Because um, I wanted to get some like holiday decorate, some Christmas decoration because my family was coming over for Christmas. And it's the first time I've ever like actually had anyone over to my house for Christmas ever. Um, so it was really weird. Like I didn't cook or anything. I got takeout because my kitchen is like being, it was kind of like, it wasn't being redone yet, but I just hadn't unpacked any, any stuff. I don't, any like pots and pans or something, whatever. So I ordered in, um, plus I don't know how to cook for like 10 people. I, I don't, I don't know how to do that. Like, I don't know how my mom does that. I don't get it. Okay. Um, so I got some like holiday Christmas stuff and I also got these from CB2. I really like them. Um, and I think they're really pretty. Okay, so I got those, and then I got this from CB2 as well, and it was way cheaper than I thought it was. I think it was like $50, and I usually think that something like this is more like, I don't know, I thought it was going to be a lot more, but it wasn't. Okay, so oh, I don't want you to be able to like see everything. Okay, so it's a mirror, and it goes in here, okay, but I don't really want you to be able to like see my whole place, so um I really like it um and it was like $50 so I think it will look really nice when my kid when my bathroom is redone so I have I got that and I, I like it and the price I was like oh, oh shit. um the price I was shocked because there was no price on it so I asked the lady and she's like oh it's $50 and I was like, oh I will take that that is a good deal um it's not perfect there's some like things I don't love about it You'll see, if you guys have one, you'll see like there's a lining on um, where the mirror is. You can see when you put the mirror in, it's a little bit, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. I'm like, I, I can get over it. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to talk about my plates. Okay. So I got these two from, um, some guy online, whatever. I don't want to pick them up and they're these, and I just want to kind of show you the whole vibe. Okay. So it's a setting for eight people. And I really don't need that. Like, I, I need nothing. I need study for two. And I just want to show you the motif. So I saw, ooh, I just love it. So here it is. And I know a lot of people remember this. A lot of pe families had this growing up or you remember from like your grandma's or something like that. 
My grandma had the one that was like all white with the pink, just the pink, and I love it. And apparently recently she just like gave it away or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, I've always wanted that. Okay. So I really like this black. I think it's really chic and it was really inexpensive for the whole thing. And then I picked it up from the guy and he was really nice. So I got um, the plates. I got the bowls. I got the salad plates. I got the saucers and I got the cups. And I got a big serving bowl. Um, and the guy was really sweet. He was like, oh, this was, I remember like, he, okay, so let me, let me explain what you think. So I just want to repeat his story, okay? Because I feel like the plates deserve it. So I went there and he's like, yeah, these were mine, like growing up. My, I remember like we had them all the time, whatever, like during occasions. And I thought it was really sweet that he told me his little story about the plates. Cause you guys know I'm very sentimental about that shit like that. And, um, he's like, I was like, oh my God, thank you so much for telling me the story. Like, I love them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, I also wanted to talk to you about these, the bowls. I love these shallow bowls. I feel like they're so something that we would eat. Like, do you guys, Greeks out there, or even like, I think like, um, like Arabic or yeah, people who like, I don't know, who is that? I'm so bad at this. I know I came off as racist. Um, Persians or like people is it Arabs is that like the wrong word I don't fucking know anything I say is like I don't know anything I say is like wrong you we we eat something called like um fasolia fasolada okay um which is like a bean like beans or like pizelia isn't that right like peas um so I remember eating at my grandma's house and her white version of this, the pink flowers, I remember eating that. And I just like, you guys know, I just like love, I just love like memories like that. And I just love to recreate memories like that. <sighs> okay. Also, I got myself into this fucking mess. Like I got myself in this mess by doing this weird Christmas gift okay and it's just becoming too like exhausting or I should have just bought a gift card it, whatever it's a long story I don't want to get into it this, I'm like just I this is like for being nice okay so all right all right then um okay I'm gonna do a story and so I have one more bone to pick and then um I want to show you guys another thing that I got um and I'm gonna show you I might show you the chairs I kind of want to show you the chairs okay also let me ask you guys a question Okay, um, if you haven't been blocked, you know what I'm talking about. All right, also this. All right, do you know those, I showed you guys those pictures downstairs, or those pictures I did, it's like um, in like pretty frames, and it's like Chanel, it says cunt. All right, I just want to tell you guys, I mean, you guys are fuckers, okay? I want to tell you two things. I want to tell you three things. I'm starting over. I want to talk something to you about something that's really annoying. All right, I'm going to clear the air right now, so... Don't tell me that I, okay. Do you remember when I was asking you for like the paint, to help me with the paint colors? And I was like, oh my God, like these people who own these, like who do these home blogs and they don't share, they're like, oh my God, like they're redoing their kitchen, right? They're read, this is what they're doing. Like they're, that's what they do, right? They do a blog on renovating a room or something and they paint a wall and they don't tell you what color the paint is. Okay, you guys are saying that's the same thing as me not sharing what sunglasses I'm wearing in a photo. Stop. Stop it right now. You Here we go again. You don't understand like how dumb you sound, okay? If you don't know what Porsche sunglasses are, then I cannot help you. First of all, I've said it 75,000 times. Third of all, like it's not hard to figure out what a pair of fucking sunglasses are, man. It's another thing to ask what shade of fucking paint you use because there's 45 million bajillion shades of paint out there. So if you're gonna be doing a blog about fucking renovating and that's what you focus on, that's what you do, then you should share the fucking paint, okay? Or you are holding out. I don't hold out. I don't. I've already told you 40,000 times. If you're, such a, if you're just too lazy or don't want or haven't, then I'm not gonna every time Every time I wear these sunglasses, do you think I'm gonna say, blood jagger, blood jagger, blood jagger? What is it? Every time? 
No, bitch, I'm not. I will never actually say it again now. I told you. That's it. I have told you. So don't fucking tell me that it's the same as me not telling me, telling you what I'm wearing from the store. From the sunglass store will be the next response because I've already told you. And it's like, honestly, I'm not even being a bitch. Like, but like, is is the sky blue? You don't, like, it's so, you don't know these are, like, take a banana. Like, we know. Like, like, we don't know it's an iPhone. It's a fucking iPhone. Like, it's not, it's really actually annoying. It's not, these are not hard questions. Like, you failed fucking class. Honestly, you failed fucking class. It's, if you're, people are telling me that. Like, like God forbid I ask one question. I never ask a question, but, like, honestly, I don't know what color paint. It's, it's a pink color, bitch. Like, if you're going to be renovating a house and, like, doing a blog on that and you're not going to share the pink color, like, yeah, yeah, you are being a bitch. Yeah, you are being a bitch. Okay, I know what you're doing because... Because it's it's not easy to find a pink color. So don't do a vlog on, on renovating anything. You're not going to share. Just don't. Because I know what you're doing, okay? It's not the same as not sharing, as not sharing every time we're watching from the store. It's not. It's not. It's so easy, man, to write in. You could probably type in pink designer sunglasses and it will come right up, dude. Like, it's not a fucking hard, man. Like, that's why I don't get Like, really? All right. What was I talking about? Okay, yeah, my the picture is downstairs. So, all right, I really do want some advice for you guys. They are they're like really tacky. Honestly, I'm really upset. So, the thing is, like, you know, like the, the the Chanel thing, like, it says kind. Of, okay, some people will call me out too. Like Alex, not everything with the CC logo look, is cute, and I've said that before, and I a thousand percent agree. But bitch, let me tell you, I made that for myself. That picture, I made that picture for myself. 10 years ago, okay? Cut a bitch a fucking, some fucking slack, man. It's not like I just fucking went into that now. First of all, second of all, it's kind of cute, okay? Because I made it myself and because it says cunt and because it says Chanel. So it's kind of cute. I'm not wearing it on a shirt, okay? It's like, I don't know. Stop. Stop. Don't. Don't make me defend myself. I'm not saying I'm, I'm in love with it. I would never, like, purchase that or make that today. But I've had it you know, in my like repertoire for a long time and whatever. Okay. I never had space to hang it in my last house. And now I have space. I have like an office that I like made and I, okay. So did you guys see it? It was like, it says Chanel cunt or whatever. And then it, there's another one that says, fuck you, pay me, which I fucking love. Like I fucking love that. Cause it's just like, you know what I mean? It's funny as fuck. Okay. It's just like such a fucking goddamn vibe. So um, but okay. And then I have, so I have those two. It says, fuck you, pay me in black with like, you know, Marie Antoinette. What's it called? Like French, like filigree, pretty frame. And then it, the, the, um, Chanel cunt thing is in a black one, a black frame. And then I have my hundred thousand subscriber video, whatever YouTube like plaque up, which I love. Like I don't even have my degrees up because stupid like who hangs up their degrees like I don't even care it's so useless like I even use my fucking degree it's stupid um you know I'm like not <laughs> proud of my I'm, I'm bitch I'm proud of my fucking hundreds hundred thousand okay because if it was in today's fucking world I wouldn't have gotten that okay but I got that like five years ago more than that six or seven years ago six or seven years ago six or seven by the way in six or seven years I've only grown 50,000 followers this is how you know the truth you know the truth I can't say the word because I will get fucking mm. okay so do the math, bitch. Do the math. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, so do you guys hate those? That's my thing. Is like I okay, i I might take you down. Oh no, I'll just what I'm gonna do is if you haven't been blocked, I'll take another picture of it and I'm gonna show you guys on my Instagram because I don't want anyone out there who I've already blocked to even have a say because I don't give a fuck what you say. But like, is it ugly? Is it stupid? Are we taking them down? I mean, it is really dumb. And I, you know, that to be honest, I hate gallery walls. It is such a chotsky mess. Like, it's such a, like, over the top. Like, oh, my God. I had, I need, like, a white wall. Like, I can't have things on the walls. Like, I, I just, I just don't like it. So, I'm kind of, like, regretting putting those up. But I thought, that I was, like, when I put them up. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Sorry. But, uh, why did that come up? Fucking. So, um, I don't know, we're taking them down. I was just like, oh, I have these. I like them. Put them in my office. And I put them up and I was like, what are we doing with this? I don't know. Okay. 
Um, so that, all right, that was going to talk about, but what I was going to actually talk about is me getting, I got pulled over, you guys. Okay. I got pulled over. Oh, it smells really good. It smells really good. All right. Funky soul spices, chili bomb. Okay. Um, I got pulled over and I want to tell you guys about my pulled over story. Um, I actually, I, I want to read my synopsis really quick because I wrote down something that I really was like important for my story. And, um, Because I, I, I didn't want to forget it. Okay. All right. I wanted to just remember, think, remember for remembering it. Okay. So on Saturday night, um, I got pulled over in my car. And I just want to tell you guys why I'm really disappointed in myself and I will never do it again now. Like I will never, I will never, because this is like a lesson I've always told myself. So I have this thing where I do not, every time I do, I let someone in when I mean I let someone come in or if I'm like stuck behind someone and then I'm like thinking to myself, should I go around them or should I just, just wait? Every time, every fucking time, man, I get fucked. Okay. Every fucking time these moronic fuck drivers, these fucking terrible drivers fuck me up. Okay. Whether it's, I let someone in and they slam on the brakes or whether I let someone in and they like just go two miles an hour. Every time I let someone in, I'm like, you shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have done it. Every time it's never once 99% of the time I let someone in and they fuck me up. Okay. So this time it's like, I've driven this, I have driven this road so many times. I grew up oh, where I was at kind of nearby. And all right. So you guys know on a right, on, okay, let me tell you. So, I, so I'm behind this guy and I have, the, he's, he's driving like, like he doesn't know how to drive. Like, I don't know. He's an alien. Literally. He's a, he's like an alien from Mars. Like someone who legitimately cannot fucking drive. So I'm behind this fucking like he's not I mean I don't even know I swear the guy was like, a, was like a dog driving I don't even know someone who cannot drive like how are you such a bad driver but the thing is that the stoplight was coming up really quickly so I would have had to like really gotten around him and I was just like it was dark and I was just like ugh. and I had the dog with me and my, the dog was my Ming has been sick for the past like four days so I nursed her back whatever she's fine not like from death but you know she's had an upset stomach so I sit, wait behind the guy. We get to the red light. We're both trying, we're both in the right lane to make a right. Okay. So when you go to a right lane and it's a red light, you just stop, you look, and then you go, right? Just because it's a red light doesn't mean you stop and wait until it's green. You fucking asshole. Okay. I'm so mad at this guy because you fucked me up so bad, dude. Okay. So I, so I sit there and I'm like, does it say, like, sometimes it says no right on red, right? So I was like, does it say, like, no right on red? My car is so low, right? I can't see. So I'm like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't say that. I have come to this corner a thousand times in my life. So I honk at him. I honk at him. And he doesn't move. And so I honk, on him, honk at him again. He doesn't move. So I honk, I honk again. The motherfucker doesn't move, okay? Then he misses the cycle. So all the cars are coming by. So he can't go now. So I'm like, oh, my God, you fucking asshole so he finally goes right goes and then I do a stop go I don't stop and then go I do like a rolling stop but it was more okay to be fair it wasn't a slow it was I did stop and look and go but I went fast because I was sick of it all right then all of a sudden I got lit up the fucking lights behind me this cop came from like on like the left lane in front whatever like outrageous bitch like you really were trying to like you really hated me okay so what happened was I already was on he the cop heard me because of the honking and then he saw the fast you know car and he's like oh fuck this guy and he pulls me over I was like oh god all right so usually I got pulled over like a few I got pulled over like two years ago for like expired tags or something and the motherfucker gave me a ticket I was like so mad he couldn't let me go I was like downtown like Whatever. And I was really nice to him. Anyway, so he comes over to my right side and Ming is in her like seat, right? She has like a car seat. And I said, I was like, hi. He's like, hi, ma'am. He's like, do you, you know that you 
didn't make a stop. You, you, you did something like, you, you know, you did two things, something like that. And I was like, uh, and he's like, you, you know, you can't, whatever. He said something like, you can't honk. It's against the law in California to honk unless it's an emergency. And I was like, you know, this is the thing. Okay. I'm going to stop. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm a fucking chameleon. You know that, right? We've already talked about this. I have 7,000 different, it's not personalities. It's just like levels of personality, okay? Where I am different around um, my grandma. I'm different around my parents. I'm different around a friend. I'm different around, you know what I mean? Like I'm, it depends. The mailman, the person at the store, the person at the restaurant, like I'm different around, and 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 also and also in in those, I'm different around personalities. I can pick up on your personality, and I will change my personality to fit yours. Like that's what I just do. That's why it's very exhausting for me to like even go out like in the public, like used to walk outside because I can't just like be me. I have to know who you are, and I will conform to you. I don't know what that, what that is. It's like, I, I, I don't know. I, I, who am I dealing with is kind of thing, okay? So he's like, you know, you can't. And I was like, oh. I was like, well, and I, I wasn't sure if I should do this because I know cops have, like, big egos. And I'm very respectful to cops. I, like, I really, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not the kind of person that thinks that we need to, like, fucking take the cops away. I'm not like that. Like, they do their job, and I'm happy to have police officers protecting us, dude. Like, you're a fucking dumb fuck, Okay. So I'm not the kind of person that's disrespectful. I've always been taught to be respectful for cops, cops every time you get pulled over, both hands on the wheel, yes sir, no sir. That's always what I've been taught, okay? And I'm living it there, bitch. Don't fucking say, fuck you. Don't fucking come for me. Shut the fuck up. Go make a video on your own channel. Fuck off. Okay. Um. So yeah, I was like, they think, so then I was like, I got mad and I was like, oh, I was like, I was like, oh, okay. Um. Yeah, but he didn't, he wasn't going on a red, so wasn't he breaking the law too? And I felt really stupid saying that, like trying to fight with the officer. You think that's gonna get you anywhere, bitch? You think that me saying like, it's gonna like get you anywhere? No, bitch, he's gonna get even more mad at you. He's not gonna fucking give you a break. Like I was like, ugh. So, so I pulled back a little bit and I saw that he was like the kind of guy with like a lot of ego. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay. So I just stopped, all cops are, you know what I mean? They have like big egos. So I just pulled back, all right? Then, and he's like, and you didn't make a stop. You did a rolling stop. And I was like, oh, did I? I was like, okay, I was like, no, I'm sorry. I was like, you know, just going to, he's like, first he originally asked like, where are you coming from? And I was like, oh, I'm, you know, visiting, was visiting my parents, okay. So then he's like, okay, well, um, he's like, can I have your license for registration? So I gave him my, I gave him the license. And to be honest, my license is expired. I have paid, and I was like, listen, so like, here's my license. I said, to be honest, I said, I have been trying, I've paid two times. I said, to, I've paid online two times for my new license. It has not come yet because of COVID. They're backed up, I think. I said, I can prove to you right now. I'm, I have two receipts proving that I've paid for my license and I still have not received it. And then he's like, oh no, this was actually, sorry, before. So before, before he asked for my license, I'm really bad at storytelling, sorry. Okay, he's like, oh, who's the puppers? about Ming. It's like, who's the puppers? And I was like, oh, this is Ming asking myself, you son of a bitch, don't fucking ask me about my goddamn dog if you're gonna fucking be writing. Just give me a fucking ticket, let me the fuck go. That's what I was thinking in my head, but I was like, oh, this is Ming, okay. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now why I got off, because the guy was not having anything I said, okay? He was not having anything, this was before. I had not shown him the ID either yet. All right, so. What the fuck is that? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you why I got off. I'm not gonna tell you exactly the verb. I'm not gonna tell you what I said at the conversation at all because it's gonna offend a lot of people. It's gonna offend people and it's just, people are gonna take it the wrong way. And it's just like a woke kind of situation. And I don't want like the woke people come after me because you guys know I'm like the most woke person ever, right? <laughs> Look at this lighting though. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, um, so he said something about the dog and I took it and I was like, oh, thank God. I was like, I, have, I, I need to set myself apart somehow. I need to say something. I need to do something to set myself apart because right now I've talked back to him. I have um, like 
broken two laws in his law in his in his um in his eyes and um he's probably to be honest jealous or hates me because i have this fast car and i'm a bitch you know what i mean like every time i get pulled over people hate me or if i'm like downtown and i get a ticket when i'm pulled like if i get like a like a parking ticket they will write me up for no front license plate everything because they are just like you know what i mean it's like a nice car so they just like hate hate you because of that anyway so i was like oh my god so he said something and i fucking rolled with it like i rolled with it you know what I mean? I rolled with it. I was like, and I like went on it. Like and I said something again. He's like, okay. And he's like, yeah, <laughs> tell me about it like that. So then he's like license and registration. And then, then I gave him the license. I explained the whole thing. He took it and he's like, are you on parole or any rest? Like, no, never, never, never. And he's like, him back and have a night, have a good night. And he loved, but he left. I looked, I, and I know for sure it's because I'm a fucking chameleon and I saw the opportunity to set myself apart and to, like, I'm not going to kind of manipulate him into like this, you know what I mean? Where I was like, you know, we had a commonality. I, I, I found the opportunity to like do, to make it something we had like something in, in common and he like respected that. You know what I mean? So anyway, I just kind of wanted to say that because I guess as a no, this is like, okay, what are we doing with this light? It's like a therapy session for me. And I was really proud of myself. I was like, I'm all about finding the opportunity. You know what I mean? It's like, I, and I'm, I'm like, I'm really... My chameleon-ness, me being a chameleon in life is very exhausting, but it really pays off. And I don't know what the word is for that, but it just is something, okay? And it worked, okay? Because I've never been let off, ever. Every time I've ever been pulled over, I get exactly what I did wrong or more they write me up for. So this is the first time I've ever been let off. Um, and it's not like I'll actually like a pretty girl. That's what they let you off. No, 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 never. Like even in my younger years and I get pulled over, I'll never be let off. Like I'll, I will not anyway. Um, but I like also, I also like, wasn't like, I, I think I'd be like the older I get, the more like able I'm like chameleon, my, my, my chameleon evolves. Okay. Shut up. Enough. So I got off. <laughs> All right. Thank God. So, um, cause that would have been two tickets, bitch. All right. So and it's getting really dark. Okay. I'm going to talk about two more things and, or one more thing. It's this. You guys also ate me alive for this. You ate me the fuck alive. Um, it's the, it's called the Jean Nate. Is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> I, I pronounce it as Jean Nate because I've never seen the commercial as you guys are all telling me. Anyway, I bought this from the store because I saw the bottle and I really like the way it looks. It looks very 90s and it just says like it's an after bath splash with moisture and it just says there's aloe in it and your skin will look sleeker, smoother and softer. And the perfect finish to bath. Okay, this is a very old product. A lot of you guys know it from your your like grandmas or moms. I've never used it. My family never used it. Um, I did use it one time now, and it does. It smells nice, but it's a little bit strong. I'm gonna use it another time and see if I like it. I it's not like I'm something I'm obsessed with. I don't think because it is a little bit of like an acquired smell. It's not bad. It's not old lady. It's just different. Um, and I didn't really know that, like, what do you, how are you supposed to put this on? Like this, and then you, it, you don't get enough. You know what I mean? If you put it in your hands and you just like, it dries fast. So it's like, how do you get it everywhere? I don't know. It's like kind of a weird thing. Um, I think it's like, an, like a, a pro, an old product that's just still around randomly. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? What, what do you like it? Like, what am I doing? How am I using it right? Okay. I also got this. Um, and I really, I just want to share this with you because, sorry, the lighting's been really bad. I have to like go soon because the lighting is horrible, but. I'm really weird about bottles. Like I won't buy, I will probably buy something, a product based on the bottle because I don't want anything ugly. You know that. And I really like this. Um, you know, it's like really just like basic, but it's just ultra gentle daily. I need a cleanser for my face and it smells really good. Actually, I'm shocked. It just smells floral, but like soap. And it's just a gentle, it's a Neutrogena. And I just like the shape of the bottle. It's just very classic. It looks like a lotion bottle emoji. It's just cute. Okay. And I like the color and it looks nice in my um, bath, my shower, and I really like it. So, all right, I'm gonna bring you guys, I'm gonna bring you the chair up for you um, because I'm gonna bring the chair up for you. Okay, here's my new chairs. And, um, okay, I just wanted to show you guys. I really, really like them, they have like the little and someone said you like them because they look like My Little Pony. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I just carried it up here. But there's some Italian brand. I got mine from first, 
I got my own first dibs. I got two of them. And I'm just gonna be honest with you guys straight up. So they're a lot bigger than I thought. Um, on Instagram, if you guys have seen these before, let me get down here and show you. Okay, on Instagram, if you guys, okay. Um, so on Instagram, if you guys have seen those before, they look really small <laughs> in people's pictures, right? So I didn't think to measure them. Um, I just thought they would be cute, like little, like chairs that you could just kind of like put here and there. I just think almost like stools, right? Like I legitimately thought they were going to be like, like even like, like just small. Okay. They're really big. Like if you saw me when I sat in it, they are way, they're double the size that I thought. So they're going to be something that I'm like a little bit like, oh my God, where the fuck am I going to put these? But I still love them a lot. Um, and I don't know what the designer is. They're like, it's marked on the bottom of the foot or something. But, um, so yeah, I, someone said I like them because they look like little, my little pony and I love them. They look like monsters and I love them in a, a set of two because I think they look like two little like monsters and I love them. That's not actually the real color. It looks very muted here. It's a little, little more pink in real life in my screen. I don't know what it looks like when I upload this, but so those are those and yeah. You guys know everything um, I like to order or I like to buy weird things. I don't like anything like too normal or cookie cutter. I have some other like kind of bizarre things coming or one thing, two things, a couple of like just weird. Just not like what everyone else has. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. So, um, yeah. All right. That's it. <laughs> okay, guys. So thanks for watching and... Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.